the time of Philip is very similar to our time because we too live here as a minority. And Philip, he was even on the verge of severe persecution of Christians in the Roman Empire. It is inconceivable to him that there would be such a thing as a Judeo-Christian society. No, he managed to live as a minority and be part of a small but a strong movement of believers. And that movement of believers would grow into an open and a welcoming church. A church that was marked by its own past and history, namely a church again and again on the run, again and again expelled and living as strangers. As a Flemish philosopher once wrote, Abraham is the prime example of the church because Abraham lived on the doorstep. He was always willing to go and always willing to receive people. This motive of Abraham, of the stranger receiving strangers, is also at play in Christianity, which holds the view that we are only passers by on earth. We are obliged to offer hospitality to anyone who requests it. How you put this into practice is maybe for another time, but the big question for today is, do we live on the doorstep like Abraham, always willing to go and always willing to receive? Because that willingness marks the church history, and I hope it will still mark the church today. And are we also like Philip, firmly rooted in our identity in Christ? Because if you're rooted in Christ, you will experience that fear for strangers will disappear and love will appear. And let's believe against the odds. Let's seek the peace and the prosperity of the city. Be willing to share the gospel. Let us not be guided by fear for migration, but driven by God's love to give all peoples the opportunity to be part of the body of Christ. So go out in the world like Philip, sent by the Holy Spirit and open for people of all countries of the earth, always ready to share Jesus. And I truly hope that the realization of us being strangers and us being a minority existence will be a blessing. And it helps you to build bridges to those new in this country. So be like Philip and share Jesus. Or be like the Ethiopian and dive deeper into God's word and bring the gospel to wherever place on this earth. Amen. Um, at this time, we're going to give our offering. Um, we're going to sing a couple more songs. Um, so remember to give um, with gratefulness and cheerfulness.
go from glory to glory to glory never 
Yeah.